What's up y'all, Mitch here with another Logic Pro 9 tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be talking about Logic Built Metal Guitar Tone. And that means I am only going to be using plugins inside of Logic to get a nice direct in guitar metal tone. That's exactly what it means, alright? So, without further ado, let's play this track and see what I made. Okay, everyone, that is the best that I can do. I have been working on this for a long time. I do a lot of directing guitar, and this is the best setup that I have found with using Logic-based plugins. If you are looking to do directing guitar, especially with high distortion, I highly suggest Podfarm. I have upgraded um, to that for it's been a while now since I've had it and I freaking love it and you can get some ex excellent tones out of that so for what it's worth that is what I have let's listen to it in another light what I did here was I dual tracked that rhythm guitar and then I put a lead over it and this is all the same patch all I did was uh, add some delay some reverb some different couple little different effects but it's the same basic or uh, channel strip setting. Alright, you get the idea. So that's exactly what um, you can do that easily. You can dual track that guitar and it sounds even better. Even better. Alright, so now, I was thinking I could go through each one of these plugins and I could tell you every single setting inside of every single plugin, but guys, I don't want this to be a freaking 20 minute video. So I came up with another plan in my head. And that plan is I saved this channel strip setting as a .cst file. And what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to go to have you go to my Mediafire link and download that .cst file and then I'm going to have you drag and drop that into the uh, into the folder so that you can open it up every t single time inside of your performances which is very cool and it's all at the tips of your fingers every single time you open up any logic file alright so first of all go down that don't go download that link from Mediafire and stay with me here we're gonna get a little bit crazy I'm going to have you open up the terminal, and to do that, do command space, open up your spotlight, and press, and just start typing in terminal. And then it will come up here at the top hit, select terminal very quickly, and this will open. This is a terminal right here. Okay, now, also in the description below, I will have a couple of commands that I'm going to want you to copy and paste into your terminal. And that is this first command, this defaults write com.apple.finder, apple show all files, boolean true. And what this does is it shows all the hidden files um, in your folders, which is fun stuff, fun stuff. Uh, I don't know if it did it. Okay. And then after you paste that, copy and select kill all finder, paste it into there and do that. So now when you go over to your um, home folder you can see all the hidden files. Ooh, fun stuff. Now, now if you're in your home directory go to library it should be grayed out which means that it was once hidden. Alright, and then I want you to go to application support, logic, audio files, oh no wait, channel strip settings, track performance and this is where I want you to drop that .cst file and so wherever it is like here it's on my desktop I just drag and drop right into the performances folder and bada bing bada boom you have it inside of your logic whenever you want it now if you are that person who doesn't like all of those hidden files easy enough just copy that same statement you had before paste it in, but instead of true, make sure that it's false. Alright, and then also again, copy and paste, kill all finder, boom. And then when you go back to your finder window, 
and you go to your home directory, it will all be back to normal. So, that's all you have to do. <laughs> Which is funny because that's a lot to do. But um, I feel like that was a lot easier than me going through every single one of those plugins and showing you how to do it. Alright, so if that .cst file is not working for you, please let me know and I will try to accommodate and make that thing work because I really want you to have this. Um, I feel like it's an incredible, um, I mean it's the best thing you can get with only Logic Build plugins. So um, make sure that that is working and let me know in the comments below. Alright, so if you have any suggestions on future videos, um, please hit me up in the comments or in a message. If you have any questions, you know, on this video, on another video, also comments or message. And just in general, comment, rate, and subscribe like a boss. All right? And, uh, yeah. <laughs>